Hi everyone, Dorota Palicka International, new artist and educator here and today we are going to do a very beautiful Christmas set of the nails. Have a preview of it in here. Yeah, I love it it's so much and I hope you really enjoy it as well. It is a little bit harder one, but it's definitely worth to watch it and learn how to do it. So let's start. So I've got another designs ready for you and you can see it uh, some gingerbread and some candy and I will show you a few different ones so just so you've got an idea how to create this one and the first one I think we should start with the little bit harder one so this is going to be a gingerbread house. On my mixing pad I need to prepare the colors first of all we want to paint with uh, so I'm going to grab some latte color because we need some kind of brown color and to that I need to add a drop of yellow, so I'm dropping yellow there and I need to add a drop of red, actually we will need two drops of red, okay, so and a decent one and that's a 174, then we need those green as a kind of like a turquoise um, color and I think looks awesome but to lighten it up I have also added this shade here and of course we need a black so basically red yellow and black gives a brown color I'm going to use those three colors to create kind of my brown but then I want to lighten it up and I want to have some few different shades because this is always kind of all about uh, those different uh, shades and we are going to use the detailer brush so first of all we want to start painting uh, those brownie parts so what I'm doing is I'm starting creating my brown color and you can see it I'm already having a brown which has different shades so some parts of it going to be much lighter and you can see it guys here I've got some yellow hint some parts are going to have more of those um, red hint undertone so this way I've got three different shades of, uh, of brown okay and then we are going to start painting so I'm picking up the medium shade first of all and we are going to start drawing those cute house so all what you want to do is draw a line in here square box that's what we want to do it which is a little bit wider at the top that's how I can describe it okay. so it looks like a flower pot <laughs> okay let's do flower pot first so that's our base then color it in. Now when I'm coloring it in, the all fun part about it is I'm picking up different shades of the brown. You know, this is a gingerbread, so it is not even in a color. And you want to show that um, on your coloring, like so you've got different shades of the brown. I'm not bothered about the bottom because we will add some extra work in there. So once we have created that, I want to do a triangle at the top. 
it's the middle somewhere here. See, the easiest way for me to paint is when I can uh, break the things into a single like shapes, so like square, triangles. I'm just dropping a, a more yellow into it, just so I can create even a different shade of the brown. Okay, and then just color that in. Because I want the top part to look slightly different. Okay, now perfect this shape. So everything what we have created, we can perfect it. I'm always leaving perfecting at the end because sometimes you don't know um, if you manage to squeeze that into your tip. So you kind of want to plan your composition first. Okay, so that's my house ready. With the lighter color, I'm going to drag some lines. And this way I've got like really uneven, so it looks more like a ginger, uh, gingerbread. At the same time, just to save, um, uh, save me a time when cooking the tip, we are going to uh, grab the drop of the Paint on French gel. And another drop. Ideally, you don't want to use your brushes for doing the things like this. <laughs> and we are going to draw a candy cane on the top. So what I did is I pick up this nice red with the bits and pieces of the white I've got left over. And what we want to do is we want to paint it a candy there. I don't want it to be too slim. And then don't bother about going even um, the entire um, roof length because we are going to cover it later on. I just make it a little bit thicker. And you can see it again. I've got different shades of red just because I had some white on my brush. Okay, And then we are going to give it a cook. I'm actually thinking in the meantime, because um, I don't like to wait and we are doing everything in the real time, what I'm going to do it, guys, I will just quickly prepare another tip and I will paint some even more simple uh, designs, kind of like this one, just so you could, you could watch me doing something when the other tip is curing. <laughs> I think this is actually a good idea. So I'm just going to clean this tip okay, and we are going to go uh, very simple. So different, uh, different candy going on there and the white. You can see it, what a beautiful, like I love this color combination, like because this red is so highly pigmented and the white going through it, it looks like someone has spent lots of time painting it, but it's actually not. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to paint like a wee line, which is with the rounded top. A really thick line with the rounded top. And then what you want to do is in the middle, Actually, let's start from the outer corners. So in the corners, you want to do two lines into a triangle shape like this, and then pick up a tiny bit of the white and do another lines. Okay, so this way we have created the sweetie. More light. And more light. 
and the same time I'm going to paint some stars in here very simple one and again I don't want to use pure red okay I want to use some white in it as well So I've got some star and cook it in. Okay, our gingerbread house is there. So the next step is we want to pick up those red, just because we are painting with the red, I don't want to um, changing it, with the drop of the white in there and we are going to paint the doors. Nice and rounded on the top. And because we've got the mixture of those two colors, I think it just looks fantastic. And then color that in. Okay, so we have painted the doors and now we are going to paint the windows. So straight. I'm terrible when it comes to English. I don't know the name of uh, this shape. Like it's not a square, it's a bit longer than a square. <laughs> uh, I actually need to check in the dictionary. Okay, and then this long square, um, touch it to make it a rounded shape on the top, more of a rounded shape. Basically similar shape to the doors. Okay, and then the other one. And then clean the brush and we are going to uh, paint some stars here as well just because I'm working with this color so a wee star in here and then another one in there And give it a cure. Okay, now I've got the time to add some stuff in here. And now I'm going to clean my brush and we're going to use some brown to do a more gingerbread. And we will go maybe for a Christmas shape, a Christmas tree shape. So triangle. And again, I'm picking up totally different shape, uh, shades of the brown. Color that in. Another triangle. And color that in. And then the next triangle. So each triangle is slightly larger. The bottom one, I want to make it rounded shape. The star I want it to be on top of the tree, so I'm just painting around it. Color it in. Okay, now just perfect the shape. So 
So this way I want to guys show you, I will try to show you different things uh, as well. So um, you will know how to do the Christmas tree. So you could easily do this one. I will show you also the star. I will squeeze it somewhere here as well. So you will know how to do the star. We have done this candy and we have done this candy. So I will try to squeeze somewhere else this candy as well. Just so you, uh, by showing you like you will be able to do all four, um, which I think will be awesome. So it's a little bit more advanced. Um, advanced video. So let's do the star in here now. So I'm going to squeeze this star here. Again, I'm picking up different. So the star will be behind the tree. So first of all, I wanted to indicate the shape of the star because it has more arms. Now I'm going to make it bigger. Okay, some part of the star is not going to be visible actually. And this part of the star is covering the candy. Okay, at the same time, I'm going to add a drop of the black into my brown. And I will go around it with this black. I want to make the shape of the star a little bit more rounded. just so it's not as sharp. Okay, so we've got star ginger bread. Cook it in this one as well. Are you here? Okay, so here I'm going to to also place some nuts because we've got some nuts in there as well. So I show you how I do the nuts. So basically what you do is just a rounded shape with a few different colors. So we've got one nut in here. Add a drop of the black just to outline it a bit. And then do a white drop in the brown. So we can do kind of a little bit of different dots and things in there going on. Just so it's not a bold color. Okay, so we've got one nut and the second one I will place in here, but I have to cook it first. Um, but before we cook it, let's do some bits and pieces on the gingerbread. Like, you know, we baking holes. So some in a lighter color and then couple in the darker one. No, very tiny ones. Okay, and then on the edges, we are going to add a bit more definition with those dark color. But make sure you don't have too much black in it. So just a little black. And the last one on the bottom. Around the doors. So basically the more detail we add it on the nicer it is going to be.
around the windows. For the fine lines, I have been rolling my brush. You could guys hopefully see it. Yes, you can see it. Okay, so I do like roll my brush and get it into a really nice point. If you've got too much product on your brush, it is not going to behave nice. Okay, give it a flash cure. What we've got in here. Okay, so since I have been working with those black, I'm just going to Add a drop more in here, more at the edges, like one side only. Okay, so a couple on the edges, and then a couple of those black dots. They're hardly visible, but you know, there is some extra texture going on in there, and that's what we want. Okay, so I'm getting already. Um, nicer in here than the lighter one so yellow brown and a bit of white a couple dots in this color clean the excess of the product like kind of really messy <laughs> okay now we are going to paint the branch so search some empty spaces because uh, you want to make this design to be really fill it up. So I can see it. Let's make as thin as possible. I can see it. I've got some empty space in here. Okay. And then going to the side, maybe somewhere here. Don't worry if you've got some empty spaces. It's just really to, I don't want it to be strong. I'm almost, so that's will be a, branch here and here another one there oh and we were supposed to squeeze in another lollipop okay let's stop the rota stop it stop it so one more in here cook it in same i want to add some branches here So maybe there, maybe something going on in here, very small one. Some in here. And in there. And in there. Okay, in the middle part, we are going to paint the window, which is going to be this turquoise color, but I like to mix it with this blue. Um, first of all, because we've got this mixture of the red, um, which isn't as flat, and I'm going to paint a rounded shape here. With the same color, I'm going to straight away. Actually, I shouldn't because I didn't cure the branches. I'm just going to add those green color. Okay, and same, we are going to add this color on top of the roof. Actually, I'm going to make my life easier and grab the dotting tool and do it with the dotting tool. Just so it looks like you have squeezed some cream on top of it. <laughs> Give it a cook. Okay, here I need to squeeze one more candy and this is going to be the hard candy. 
So what I need to do is, because we don't have strong colors in here, I'm going to use this uh, very washed um, black, like with the brown, to indicate the shape of my candy. So this is going to be the middle. Ideally, even less paint on there. And I'm just going around that shape. Around it. I love this brush so much. You can paint such as fun lines with it. And this is actually quite difficult stuff, guys, like, you know, to paint so extremely thin lines. Because they are hardly visible even. Can you keep going? Because we want to have a decent size of it, you know. One more. I wanted it to be nice and big. I'm not bothered about the branch, those green branch, which is there. Yay! Okay. And then on the bottom, we are going to paint the stick. And the stick is going to be in this brownie color as well. But I want that to go through this place here. So this is where the candy is coming from. Okay, at the same time, I'm just going to add some details into this first candy. Just so we've got at least one piece which is start looking nice. You know guys, this stuff takes really time to look cool. I don't make it too straight, I wanted it to go at the angle. Okay, we've got this one, so at the angle. And we've got the first candy painted. You can also highlight it some places. At the same time, I'm picking up this color and I'm start painting the design inside the tree. It's like a wee chains. Check it, like I've got white and I've got red. I don't want it to be one color. I really love it because it looks like those sugar painting. one on the top and same inside the star we are going to so you could paint like a snowflake or you could paint the sugar painting and I'm just going to go sugar painting again different shades of those red some some places are even more white And one more. And then do a couple of the sprinkles. So red, red sprinkles, red sprinkles, 
white sprinkles. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, I'm going to do some red sprinkles here as well. Ideally, you don't want to use your brush. And now I'm going to also cook it so we don't damage it. This one is almost finished, actually. So here we need to add more details inside the ginger house because it looks boring, it looks empty. We need to paint one more knot in here. So this one is behind it. And the detail. For the detail, I'm picking up some white. And I've got my brush mixed in a, in a brown. And we are going to paint some tiny love heart here. Oh, so cute. <laughs> and a wee swirl. And a wee swirl. Okay, we are also going to paint love hearts on the top. Guys, they don't need to be perfect like love hearts because it is uh, it is a baking, you know, and they can be sometimes a bit uneven. So I'm not bothered, I'm not spending too much time on it. Of course you could create it, your own design inside the gingerbread house. Okay, that's enough. Then same, for the roof, I want to highlight this place here. And we want to give it a couple squiggles here as well, so I'm going to paint a letter S. That's the easiest. Swell shape. And then here, instead of letter S, we are going to paint like rounded number two. So imagine you're painting number two, and then you just rounded it off instead of going straight. And I use this technique of letter S and uh, number two for, um, for designs in a salon, like quite a lot as well, because that's the easiest way for me. So on the right hand, I will always paint letter S, and then on the other hand, I will always paint a letter um, two, which is a little bit rounded on the top. Number, yeah, thanks. Okay, I need a drop of the top coat, guys. So I'm just going to add a little shading here. Not shading, highlights, little highlights there. And then around the window. Plus a darker one. So I'm putting a drop of the black into my turquoise color. And I'm painting cross. Okay, 
we also want to add some curtains <laughs> gosh so much detail i hope you guys enjoying this advanced video I want to paint some curtains then here so one and a second one and then color that in Okay, so we've got some curtain. Again, don't try to color it perfect. Like this is absolutely cool the way it is. Now, cross in the door. And the door handle. Give it a cook because the house is almost finished. We just have to add more detail on the roof so it's nice and pretty. Now I can do I can do those branches now because on this tip we're missing lots of this color here. Okay, so we need to add those branches and what you do is you just paint like lots of lots of lines so i'm painting one side first Actually, this branch could go on top of the candy. Now I'm going into the other side. So this time I'm not rolling my brush and you can see it, it almost split, which I love it because I paint double double lines okay and straight away because I'm painting with this color we are going to add a couple of the sprinkles in this color as well just some loose sprinkles there and a wee star. Okay, now I need to make my brush to behave. So a wee star here. And that's plenty. Okay, it's really rich. Okay, good. Honey. I've got branch. The one which didn't exist. star couple sprinkles okay 
and a wee branch one more and here I need to do it because they quite fill up so I don't want to have empty space there. Okay, clean my brush, paint on French, I need you. Some dots in the roof. Oh, candy. Okay, get my brush nice and thin. And again, I'm making them kind of rounded shape. So don't paint them straight. Then we've got candy. What else I need? I need some red sprinkles. And then this one is going to be finished. I'm not going to play anymore with it. Uh, actually, <laughs> I'm terrible. Sorry, guys. Is the icing sugar icing? Yeah, and white. <laughs> she says she's not going to play, and then she keeps adding more and more. Okay, now I'm going to cook it, and then this one is ready for a top coat. <laughs> mm. I just don't like this one particle here. Let me fix it. Because we have placed red over the green, that's better. Okay, kick this one in and let me see what we've got to finish there. Ah, okay, so we've got this, um, this one. Because the background is white, I'm going to use red. <coughs> and what I'm going to do is I will paint this part nice and strong red. Okay, then the next part, I'm leaving empty space and painting the next part. Make it a little bit rounded. Now, because I'm thinner here, I can go more lighter color. and leave the gap. And paint again. Leave the gap. Okay, and then another one. I'm just going to touch them up a little bit thicker. 
and then we've got the next one ready. So what I'm missing in here, nothing else as well. We are just going to uh, give it a cook and then apply the top coat. And I hope you have guys really enjoyed watching this tutorial with the gingerbread and some candies. Of course, we could paint the bow as well. I actually did paint the bow on the other one. So let's apply the top coat over it. And then give it a cook. And then I can show you. Same in here, top coat. I'm applying quite a decent amount of the top coat just because the design is layered. So there is uh, lots of colors one on top of another. And then I can show you the final results. So I do really hope you have enjoyed it. <laughs> Much more advanced. Now I have to be careful because the tip is not cured yet. You guys know I'm doing a real time everything, so it's definitely not cured yet. And this one as well. But uh, I hope you don't mind me not showing you all the designs. Like, I mean, because obviously this ones I have done it on my own and then I show you on those two. Um, but I try to cover everything just to give you more ideas. And they really, a uh, rich Christmas uh, sweeties candies and uh, ginger bread designs. I'm sending you lots of glittery hacks and bye for now.